News feed. Get rid of uh, all. Click inbox apps, and then it's just going to show you uh, Raya's conversation with this particular client. Okay. Now, again, if you want to take advantage of this, uh, if you want it turned on for your account, uh, where uh, you can reply to Raya directly from this screen or from the inbox screen, uh, then you just have to let us know. Uh, let my assistant Valeria know, or drop a message right now in the chat, and we'll get it uh, turned on for you today. OK, uh, so that is that. That's the first announcement that I uh, wanted to make today. Uh, the second amount, uh, announcement is our uh, September class schedule for the rest of this month. We got two more Tech Tuesdays this month, uh, one of which is. Um, uh, yeah, one of which is uh, um, cash offers with Zudelio. We're going to be rolling out uh, a new feature, a new uh, platform with Zudelio and uh, number uh, and then September 24th, last uh, Tuesday of each month, as we do every uh, last Tuesday of each month is audit your database and ask me anything. So uh, be sure to tune in uh, for that. And uh, bam, cool. I see Tyrone and Mitha want theirs turn on. So uh, great, perfect. Uh, Valeria will get that uh, squared away for you here shortly. Okay. Uh, so back uh, back to today's, today, to today's topic. Uh, it's essentially door knocking. Uh, first thing I want to show you before we start uh, uh, role playing and 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 uh, you just uh, working with our new scripts is I want to show you guys how you can create a nice uh, nice beautiful uh, QR code, okay, with a flyer. So uh, I suggest using Canva. Canva is a, a great platform. Uh, you can really find uh, a bunch of different templates that are easy for you to edit, easy for you to take advantage of. And let's take this example um, just right off the top. Uh, all you do is essentially when you get into Canva, let's do it from the, let's show you guys from the very start. When I get into Canva, uh, canva.com, go up here, real estate flyers, type that in, search that, and you'll find some templates that you can take advantage of. And let's scroll down. Let's take, uh, oh, where was the one I was just looking at? Um, okay, well, fine. We'll take this one. We'll click customize this template. And uh, we can create a different uh, QR code. So it's whatever you want. want. If you want a QR code uh, for your website, a QR code uh, for, um, I, I don't know, your contact information, uh, whatever it is, we can create that. Let's start off. Let's use our uh, seller site since, you know, one thing, obviously, you're going to be door knocking. You want to get sellers uh, to get their information and, uh, you know, basically uh, log up, for, log in or uh, sign up for a, a free home evaluation. Uh, so let's do that. Uh, let's go to uh, century21masters.com. Actually, let's go to search.century21masters.com. Now, obviously, every single one of you have your own YLOPA website. Uh, all you have to do is go to your YLOPA website, uh, type in seller at the uh, very end, and it'll take you to your seller site. So um, let's show you again how that looks. Let's, I'm showing you from like the main website. Come in here, type in slash seller. It'll take you to your seller site. You copy that link. And then what we're going to do is we're going to go to free QR code generator. You can um, search this in Google. You'll find one. Uh, typically, don't I don't suggest clicking on the sponsored ones because the sponsored ones uh, uh, will, um, you know, <laughs> typically ask you to uh, to sign up and, and pay some money. Uh, Canva should have a free QR generator, and um, we can use that. Let's do generate QR code. And, and yes, I am using the free version of, of Canva. Um, obviously there's a lot more features uh, and it's a lot easier to use um, if you have a paid version, but uh, you can, uh, let's do this, uh, use in, Existing design. All 
I can actually probably do this easier from this uh, QR code. Let's see. Let's just use a new design. I don't like Canvas version. Let's let's do um, what I had. Uh, let's go to Q, QR code monkey. I like that better. Um, it's a little bit easier to use. Come in here. Uh, let's paste the URL. And um, if I want to change anything, I can do that. and create a uh, QR code, then download PNG. And perfect, it's downloaded. Okay, I'm gonna go back to camp. I'm gonna go back to this. I'm going to uh, go here to the design, uploads, upload files. QR code, open. Let's say I want to get rid of this image right here. Let's wait for it to finish. Uploading. Up oh, there it is. Perfect, it's finished. And I can resize this. Let's do just We can, uh, there's a couple ways we can do this. We can expand it like this. Uh, let's get it rid of it completely and, and let's do it easier. And let's just plug it in, bring it right here. And bam, just like that. We have our QR code added to the flyer, okay? Uh, so very easy, very, very, very easy to do. Uh, really, you just got, <laughs> you just got to search, go to qrcode.monkey.com. You can make this in 30 seconds. Very easy to use. Um, but, uh, but yeah. Um, and you know, obviously you can, you can link any link that you want to this uh, site or to this QR code. Um, so it could be, um, you know, if you have, uh, your seller site, your buyer site, uh, anything that you can, uh, I don't know. I can think of. Uh, I think you could even uh, there's a, an ability to take your Q, uh, your V card and also uh, and make that as a QR code. Uh, so that's that's an option for you as well. Uh, but okay, so cool. That is uh, how that works. That's how you would create a QR code um, for your flyers when you're going door knocking and so forth. Uh, let's dive into now our uh, our scripts for um, for door knocking and. We have all those new scripts that are have recently uh, come out that we've recently released. Uh, we have a whole Google Drive for you guys. I'm going to drop that into the chat uh, just in case you haven't got it already. I know we emailed it out uh, last week and we sent it uh, through Telegram and so forth. Uh, but just in case you haven't got it, here is the, the uh, Google Drive where you can take a look and see all of the new scripts that we've uh, we've written. And today we're going to totally focus on door knocking. This week is our door knocking. We want to become door knocking champions. Uh, door knocking obviously is a great way to prospect. It's a great way to uh, find seller leads. And uh, obviously, <laughs> who doesn't want to work with seller leads? Uh, all right. So how th this is going to work today is what I want to do is we got all these new scripts. I want to uh, go one by one and I want to role play each of these scripts. Okay. Some of them are uh, pretty straightforward. 
And so, for example, uh, script number one, this is totally dedicated to the point that we we know that a lot of people were, were going to door knock. They're not interested. OK, so what do we want to do? We want to maximize the conversation and we want to uh, get their information, their contact, uh, their phone and email. And obviously we got their address uh, and we want to uh, put them into our database so that we can follow up with them, basically turn them into our farm so that when they are ready, uh, to, to buy or sell. They've already been getting home evaluations uh, reports from us on a monthly basely, basis or quarterly basis uh, for the past year, okay? So um, here's what we're gonna do is I'm gonna take a, a volunteer, we'll go through the script, and then I will uh, show you essentially how I would follow up with this lead after adding them uh, to my database once I get back to the office after door knocking, okay? Uh, do I have a volunteer to uh, just uh, run the script with me real quick? I'll be the client. Or, and, and you'll be the, the agent? I'd do Smart. it, Hunter. Daisy, amazing, perfect. Uh, so Daisy, uh, take it from the top and get it started right here. Knock, knock. Uh, yeah, uh, hey, uh, how's it going? Hi, my name is Daisy, I am your local real estate agent. Our company recently sold a home here in your neighborhood and I just want to take the opportunity to introduce myself. I was curious, would you happen to know anybody who may be looking to make a move or may need some help here in terms of real estate? Uh, I don't know anyone off the, the top of my head. Okay, great. Well, thanks for taking a second to think about it. By the way, I didn't cut your name. Oh, uh, yeah, my, my name's Hunter. It's, uh, yeah, uh, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, Hunter. It's a beautiful name. And uh, what about you, Hunter? Have you thought about making a move sometime soon? Uh, no, no. Well, we're we're gonna be here for for a long time, for sure. I think we're gonna be here for maybe at least the uh, next five or six years until um until my kid uh, graduates high school. Oh, that's great. Your kids are in high school. Yeah, you you are planning in the next uh, six six years that's fine okay great well just so you know one thing i'm doing for your neighborhood is providing a free home evaluation to anyone who is interested in come and comes back with a current value on your home the amount of buyers in your area and a breakdown of other homes that have sold in your neighborhood recently uh hunter is that something that you will be interested in Oh, yeah. Yeah, why not? Um, <laughs> Great. Let me get your contact info and I will send it to you as soon as possible. May I get your email and your phone number as well, please, Hunter? Uh, yeah, for sure. Um, okay, so here's my phone number. It's 951-319-2273. Uh, and uh, my email address is uh, honeythemoney at uh, gmail.com. I need your money at gmail.com. Nice, thank you so much. And um, here is my business card, just in case if you have any questions related with, with real estate, uh, feel free to call me at any time, right? Uh, okay, Hunter? Okay, yeah, sure. Okay, I will send it to you, the the the, CM, the, the value of your home, and um, yeah, call me if you have questions. Thank you so much for your time. Awesome. Daisy, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Great, great. A round of applause for Daisy. Good job, good job, good job. Okay, so uh, what am I going to do with this lead? Once I've door knocked them, I got their contact information, I've written it down. I am going to go to follow a boss. When I get back to the office, I'm going to go up here to the very top. I'm going to click on new person and Hunter uh, Tech Tuesday. And honey the the money at gmail.com. Okay. And put it in door knocking. Door knock. You can there's a couple to choose from. You can do door, door knock, or 2024, door knocking. Um, whatever is easier for you. I, I prefer just door knock. Uh, click add person. And then what I'm doing, I'm gonna add this person immediately to Y Lopo. Come in here, add lead, plug it in, pull details, and 
submit and save. And then I'm going to set them up on a seller alert. So uh, 2776 Dogwood Valley Road. Or whatever address you can think of. Bam. Just like that. And I'm going to set that up. Have that go out. Monthly basis or quarterly basis. So, bam, click create that. Bam, we have that seller alert go, going out to them. And then this person basically becomes in your farm and you have no idea what's going to happen. Uh, but what we want to happen from this is we want to basically do automated marketing to them, have them in our database so that, uh, you know, A, you have people to call. Uh, when you want to prospect from the office, but two, uh, you're having home evaluations going out to them on a regular basis. Uh, they're looking at that. And then when they are ready to sell, they say, oh, hey, I just got this home evaluation report. They email you back or they text you or they call you or they click uh, on the home evaluation report and say, hey, uh, I'd like to uh, you know set up a listing consultation or I'd like to uh, uh, find out uh, how much my home is worth exactly, whatever it is. And we get easy leads, easy leads, easy leads being people who raise their hand and say, Hey, I'm ready to go. That's so much better than, you know, cold calling all day, obviously. So that that's the logic. That's how that's works. And that's what the script number one is designed to do. And we actually have a couple scripts uh, that are uh, designed for that. So for example, um, we have, well, number seven right here. Uh, you know, one thing, one of the things I do for other people in the neighborhood is keep them updated on what's going on in the real estate market every couple of months. Would you like me to do the same thing for you? Bam. And that's just a, another way of doing it. Um, all right, perfect. So now what we're going to do is door knock, uh, knocking script number two. This script is uh, totally based on, uh, you know, if the person is interested. And so you'll notice this uh, half this, uh, uh, of this script is already written out. The second, uh, the second half, it is not written out. It is totally, uh, um, it is totally improvised, which is going to be realistic to uh, what's going to happen when you go to door knock. Okay, so uh, some of you uh, who are probably new to our, our scripts and role play or new to our virtual office, uh, you might not know what LP Mama means. LP Mama is just a kind of a, a cheat code for us to uh, a cheat sheet for us to qualify and ask questions about a client. I have that LP Mama sheet pulled up right here. And I'm going to drop that into the chat for you guys to uh, pull up and look at as well. And give me just one second to add that to the chat. LP Mama. There it is. All right, send it over. Okay, so how this is going to work is uh, – we're going to, I'm going to take a volunteer. We're going to start off with the script. When we get to the LP Mama part, I'm going to uh, switch my screen over to here. And what you want to do is here, you want to find out everything from the motivation, timeline, uh, who's making the move with them, uh, where they're looking to go, agent, all that sort of stuff. We're kind of playing bingo uh, with the sheet right here. Um, do I have a volunteer? Um, and maybe preferably somebody who has done LP Mama before. They kind of know how this works. If not, I can... Uh, I can show. I'm in. What's up? Tyrone, perfect. All right, Tyrone, uh, knock my door. Knock, knock. Uh, yeah, hello? Hey, hi. My name's Tyrone. I'm with Century 21 uh, Realty. Uh, excuse me. My, my, our company has recently sold a home here in the neighborhood, and I just wanted to take an opportunity here to introduce myself. And I was just a little curious. Would you happen to know anybody, anybody who might be looking to uh, make a move here or might need to, uh, um, excuse me, I messed that up. I was just curious, would you happen to know anyone who might be looking to make a move or might need some help in terms of real estate that I could reach out to? Uh, yeah, um, I, I don't know anyone off the, the top of my head exactly. No one off the top of your head. Okay, wonderful. Okay, great. Well, thank you for even taking a second to even thinking about it. And by the way, uh, I didn't catch your name. Oh, uh, yeah, my, my name's Hunter. Hunter. Oh, great to meet you, Hunter. Uh, and what about you, Hunter? Have you thought about making a move here sometime soon? Uh, well, yeah, we've, we've uh, thought about it. I, I think we've just kind of been waiting for the interest rates to uh, to come down and 
looks like they they're finally starting to do that. So, um, but yeah, we've, 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 we've definitely been thinking about, uh, uh, making a move and maybe trying to get something that's a, a little bit, a uh, better fit for us uh, and, you know, a little bit closer to, um, you know, my work over in, uh, uh, in, in Long Beach. Ah, so you're thinking about making a move closer to Long Beach. Okay. That's great. Great. Yeah. So what's got you guys, uh, thinking about making a move to Long Beach? Uh, well, yeah. So, I mean, the, the main reason is just, uh, that's, uh, where, uh, my office is, is located at. And, uh, uh, you know, obviously, if, uh, from, uh, from Arcadia down to, uh, to Long Beach, that's, uh, quite a haul. Uh, but, uh, um, but yeah, it's just, uh, I've been doing that commute for about uh, a year and a half now and it's, uh, it's, it's kind of taken its toll. I'm, I'm thinking, um, uh, me and the wife have just been thinking it, it would make more sense to be able to spend a little more time with the family, a little bit more time with our daughter. Uh, if uh, I could just cut down that commute and just kind of the thing that's been holding us back is, you know, scared about uh, those interest rates, you know? Wow. That's great. Yeah. That commute after a while, it can be uh, pretty painful there. So, yeah. So you mentioned you and your wife, what's your wife's name? Uh, yeah. Her name is Lola. Lola. Okay. Yeah. Great. And how long have you and Lola been looking for another place there? Well, I mean, we've really just kind of uh, been talking about it for um, past maybe two or three months. Um, yeah, just like, for example, this summer, it, it just really, because uh, uh, my, my daughter's like summer schedule is so uh, jam-packed. It was just like, it was kind of like hard to, to juggle everything. So uh, that's kind of when we really started thinking about it. And we've, we've kind of been looking online a little bit. Uh, mm -hmm. So kind of kind of have an idea of what the, the more, uh, what's out there, but uh, but yeah, I just we haven't done anything seriously yet. Okay, excellent, wonderful. And uh, when you guys are looking, what what actually are you looking for? What type of home are you looking for? Single family home or townhouse, condominium? What's your preference? Uh, well, yeah. So I, I think we're uh, uh, open to a townhouse or a single family home. Um, definitely not really interested in a condo. Uh, but yeah, the townhouse or single family house, uh, something similar to, you know, kind of what we have right now. Okay. Uh, it doesn't have to be, uh, um, too crazy extravagant or big, you know, just a, maybe a three bedroom, two bad, uh, two bath. Um, I think that'd be fine with us. Okay. And, uh, two bedroom, three bath. Okay, great. And, uh, are you guys, uh, currently working with any other agents at the moment? Uh, no, uh, you're, uh, yeah, you're the first agent we've uh, actually talked to. That's, uh, yeah, it's, uh, that's, that's right. Oh, excellent. I'm glad I knocked on your door. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Talk about perfect timing. <laughs> All right. And just out of curiosity, have you guys had a chance to uh, speak with your a lender? Uh, no, uh, we haven't. Um, and like, like I said, we just kind of been waiting for the interest rates to come down and I, I know they, 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 they're finally doing that. So, um, I think we'd, I guess I guess it makes sense uh, to maybe uh, reach out to to our lender here yeah. okay. uh, here soon and kind of figure out what's our what our options are. Great, great. And since you mentioned interest rate, uh, what sort of ideal or what interest rates are you guys looking for? What would you what rate would you be more comfortable with? I mean, if we could get something under uh, under six percent, um, you know, mm -hmm. um, I, I think we'd be happy with that. Obviously, like. Uh, five percent uh, would be would be amazing, or under five would be amazing. But um, just you know, we kind of talked about or looked at it last year. It was like we were looking at seven percent, and uh, mm -hmm. that was just that was that was crazy. That's too much. Um, but yeah, so um, okay. anything we anything we could do to kind of if, if we can keep our mortgage, uh, you know, reasonably reasonable, not uh, it go up too much, um, right. then I think we'd be happy. Oh, okay, great, and. Since you brought up mortgage there, what's the maximum amount that you guys are looking to pay on a monthly basis? Uh, I, I think we can uh, afford, you know, I mean, we're, we're, we're paying right now about uh, uh, 3000 I think we could afford uh, up at this point up to maybe 4000 at most. So somewhere okay. in between there. Excellent. That that's a pretty good buying car right now. And just out of curiosity, uh, what's do you know your 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 FICO score, your credit score? Uh, I think the last time I checked on our, 
a credit karma is somewhere around uh, uh, 780, uh, something like that. Yeah, the, the really all, only debt we have is is this uh, is this home. So, um, yeah, that's uh, that's it. Okay, great, wonderful. And what is the kind of like ballpark figure that you guys had an idea as using for a down payment? Anywhere between maybe five, ten, fifteen percent, or were you thinking twenty? Um, yeah, I think we we would take uh, pretty much all the equity from this home and and and, and put it towards a down payment. So, uh, I guess that highly depends on what we can sell this home for. Oh, excellent. Wow, that would be fantastic. I, I, I can't, I'm so excited for you guys just even thinking about going to a new place. Well, let me ask you this. Do you think it would be worth 15 minutes of your time? I'd like to come by and maybe take a look at your home to see uh, what we could come up with, what your home could potentially sell for. Uh, well, well, yeah, I mean, uh, yeah, we could maybe set something up. Um, uh, uh, but uh, yeah, I, I would definitely want my, my wife to be here as well. Cause yeah, it's, Oh, absolutely. uh, yeah, she's, yeah, she's, she's definitely a big part of this decision as well. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Happy wife, happy life. <laughs> That's right. That's right. right. She, she reminds me of that every day. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. So what would be a good time for, for me to go ahead and pencil down here for you? I have two times available. We could, I could come by either this evening at five or would six be better for you? Uh, if it's okay, could we uh, do tomorrow uh, at five? Um, Tomorrow that work? at five. Yeah. Okay, wonderful. I'll go ahead and pencil you and Lola in for tomorrow at five. And what would be a good email address for me to send that confirmation to you? Uh, yeah, it's uh, uh, Hunter uh, Timofeyevich at gmail.com. Hunter Timofeyevich at gmail.com. All right. Okay. And just in case, can I have a uh, telephone number for you? I'd just like to maybe give a text also just to make sure we have confirmation. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Uh, 2273. Uh, 2273. Okay, got it. Fantastic. Okay, well, Hunter, thank you so much for your time. I'll, I'll go ahead and pencil you and Lola in, and I'll go ahead and give you a confirmation. You could expect that once we hang up, and then uh, if anything different comes up, go
a uh, volunteer for number three right here. I can help you with that. All right, Hortensia. Okay, so Hortensia, uh, there's two routes this is this could potentially go. Oh, give me one second. Sorry, uh, there was a phone call coming through. Let me uh, get back to where we were. Um, okay. So, uh, all right. There's two ways this is going to go, uh, if no or if yes. Um, let's do... Uh, if yes, we're going to just, we're going to LP mama it just the same, same way. So I'm, don't, you don't have to worry about this part. Um, we're just going to do the LP mama part. So this time we're door knocking and inviting people to come to an open house that we're hosting, uh, this weekend. And, uh, yeah, it's straightforward. So Hortensia, take it from the top and knock on my door. Um, just a reminder, you are oh. muted. Perfect. <laughs> Sorry. Knock, knock. Uh, yeah, hey. Hi there. My name is Hortensia. I'm a real estate agent here with Century 21 Masters. I'm going to be hosting a, a special open house at 1234 Main Street on Saturday from 1 to 4. Do, do you know this house was on, did you know this house was on sale? Uh, no, no, I didn't. That, that, that's the one, uh uh on the corner yeah yes here you go here's one of my flyers uh okay i promised the seller that i would uh get the word out in the neighborhood and i was just curious who do you know that might want to live in uh, live here in our area uh yeah uh i don't know anyone off the top of my head it feels like everybody's uh moving out of here uh yeah everybody's um I don't know, this is like the third or fourth home that's uh, sold this year and, and uh, just uh, on our street, I think. Oh, I see. That's that's great. So, um, you know, well, again, it's uh, the open house is this Saturday from one to four. Um, feel free to stop by. I'd like to show you the home. Maybe you'd like to uh, you come and maybe sell yours. Oh, okay. Uh, go ahead. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Well, uh, if we're, yeah, we're for free on Sunday, we'll, we'll, we'll definitely come check it out. Well, great. Uh, okay. Well, uh, listen, I appreciate you taking the time to talk to me. It was so nice meeting you. If you ever have any real estate questions, feel free to shoot me a text or give me a call. Hope you have a great rest of your day. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay. Go back. Okay. Go back. Go back. Okay. Sorry. <laughs> to this part. You, you never, you never, oh. you, yeah. You never asked me oh, if I, I was interested in selling my home. I, this oh, okay. is the line you skipped. Oh, okay. Yeah, so don't, okay. don't don't skip this part. Uh -huh. Okay, that's important. <laughs> okay, Hunter. And by the way, have you ever considered selling your home? Uh, well, um, uh, <laughs> uh we have. Uh, it's just, uh, you know, like I said, everybody's uh, getting out of this area. And, um, uh, to, to be honest, we're we're we don't really like this neighborhood uh, uh much either, and especially. We had some good neighbors uh, across the street that we really liked, and they moved out. And uh, the new people who moved in were just—I uh, don't know—they're so loud and disruptive. And so, yeah, we've we've thought about it. Um, I think it would just kind of um, be a matter of uh, kind of find a good place to go, though, here in Hemet. Oh, I can see. Neighbor neighborhoods do change when people start moving out. Um, now, tell me, Hunter, uh, where would you where would you move to? Well, I think we, we we definitely stay here in Hemet. This is uh, where all our family family is, and uh, you know, this is uh, where I grew up. So I, I couldn't see myself uh, going too far from here. Uh, but uh, yeah, I mean, I, I think we'd uh, ideally want to be kind of uh, somewhere in East Hemet, if possible, and um, yeah, maybe some uh, a quieter, kind of nicer uh, part of town. Yes, that that part of town is 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 uh, is quieter, and and you have some good neighborhoods in that area. Uh, tell me, Hunter, would you be looking for a single family residence, a condo, manufactured home? What type of home would you be looking at? Oh yeah, we'd be definitely looking for a single family home. Um, mm -hmm. I think we yeah, I think we'd be looking for something that's. Uh, I, I mean, I think that at this point we could probably downsize. You know, we're empty nesters at this point, so. 
um, you know, this, this home's a four bedroom. I think we could go down to maybe a two bedroom or three bedroom, but, uh, but yes, yeah, something like that. Very good. And, and tell me, Hunter, how, how soon would you like to make your move? Uh, well, um, I mean, if, if it made sense, if we could, uh, if, if we could get a, uh, a uh, good price for our home and, um, not, uh, um, yeah, if we could get a good price for our home and, and find something, I think we'd be open to doing it maybe even by the end of the year. Yeah. It just kind of depends on what's out there. We haven't really kind of uh, looked into it for a while. Well, you're talking to the right person that could help you make that move within the next next three months for you. Uh, and tell me, Hunter, who will be making that move with you? Oh, it'll just be me and my wife, Jan. Jana. Oh, very good. Very good. Now tell me, Hunter, um, you said this is a three-bedroom. Uh, you're looking for a three-bedroom, two-bath. You want to downsize. Um, have... Uh, Have you considered talking to a lender yet, or are you talking to a lender at this time? Uh, uh, no, uh, we haven't talked to a lender. Um, we, uh, we still owe just maybe around 150,000 on this home. So, um, uh, I mean, we're not, we're not too far from paying it off, but, uh, um, but yeah, we're, um, yeah, we, yeah, we haven't, we haven't gone that far yet. Okay. Well, very good. It's like you have put some good equity in your home. Uh, tell me, Hunter, um, what is your uh, FICO score? Do you have any idea what yours and your wife's FICO scores are? Uh, yeah, we're, we're pretty good. I, I think we're both at around 720 or, um, 730. Excellent. Very good. Well, Hunter, you're in luck today. I happen to be also a uh, loan officer, and I can certainly uh, help you get pre-qualified and uh, try to get you pre-approved so that we can Uh, take the next step in uh, putting your home up for sale. I'm happy to work out a comparative market analysis and present that to you and your wife. Uh, would you be available to meet with me, say, tomorrow, and, along with your wife, about 5 o'clock? Uh, yeah, I, I think we'd be, um, I mean, open to kind of at least exploring kind of what options we have. Um, yeah, um, I mean, yeah, for sure, especially if you can kind of tell us uh, what our home could possibly sell for. Um, yeah, well, why not? Okay, that's great. Okay, so tomorrow at five, that works uh, great for both of you, for you to be there? Uh, so uh, you're going to, yeah, uh, so you're going to come back uh, here to our house uh, tomorrow at five? Yes, I can, I can come back tomorrow at five and, and uh, meet with your wife as well, the two of you. And what I will have uh, for you is I can present you to, to you both a compared to market analysis. And at the same time, uh, we can go over, you know, some of the, uh, options that we may have uh, for uh, getting you pre-approved pre for a home loan. Okay. Um, okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Um, okay. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Let's do tomorrow at five. Um, I'll let my wife know and uh, yeah, we'll, we'll be, uh, we'll be happy to meet you. Sounds great, Hunter. Thank you so much for giving me the opportunity and I look forward to seeing you and your wife tomorrow. All right. Good stuff. Ladies and gentlemen, round of applause. Good stuff. Good stuff. Good stuff. Uh, the only thing is we forgot to get the email and the phone number, uh, but oh, that's uh, right. yeah, uh, you're good. You're good. I think you'll, you'll remember that in person because it's you know, a little <laughs> bit more kind of logical. It's a little bit more kind of like in your face. So I got to get this. Um, the only other thing that I would just suggest, because I, I just know, I know, I know, I know clients, I know leads and um, I would not emphasize, I mean, obviously You, under, you understand this because you are a loan officer. You understand that, uh, you know, if this is going to happen, we got to get them pre-approved. Um, I would, however, like when I'm talking about our consultation, I wouldn't like uh, emphasize the, the pre-approval part. You know, Okay. I would, uh, I would, I would emphasize is, hey, uh, let's do this. You know, it sounds like you guys are, are definitely like interested in, in, in finding something that's going to be a better fit and better neighborhood. Uh, kind of uh, somewhere that's quieter and uh, just, uh, you know, a little bit smaller. Um, let's, let's do this. Let's, let's get together. I can, uh, you know, I, I'm a real estate agent and I'm a loan officer. Uh, I can do a full consultation with you. I'll show you how much your home is worth. 
I'll kind of run some numbers for you, kind of see what you're, you could potentially net. And we can also look and talk about maybe kind of the loan options if uh, you wanted to get a, a loan for the next home. And uh, yeah, I can basically kind of go over all that. And my job is to educate, your job is to decide. And if it's something you want to do, then uh, we can take the next steps and, and get you, uh, you know, uh, you know, towards selling this home and buying something else. And then that that's kind of where I would gear it. I, I wouldn't overly emphasize it because, you know, people have experiences with uh, getting pre-approved. Some of them have great experiences. Some people, they get pre-approved in, in like one day. It's super easy. You know, took it took no effort whatsoever. Other people, people like it was a whole process it was like finding these documents it was uploading this it was like waiting for uh this and that and it was like a stressful process and uh, i just know especially people who've been through it before um they're not typically overly <laughs> joyous about that that part of the process so i would kind of lower that and emphasize hey let's figure out what your options are let's figure out if this is a good idea for you and uh you know i can i'm the, I'm the person who can run all those numbers for you so um heck yeah heck thank yeah. you so much uh, for the input well hey you sound great good good job uh i yeah uh thank you for uh volunteering and, and and taking a stab at it um cool guys uh we're almost out of time uh but i want to uh open the floor to questions and i i, I know we didn't get a chance to go over uh all the door knocking scripts there's uh basically uh three more uh that are um that are, that are good that I would, uh, would love you guys to, to work. We're going to be obviously working this every single day uh, this week during scripts and role play at 8 a.m. Uh, but do you guys have any questions or anything, um, any thoughts or any experiences or uh, maybe even any door knocking wins that you guys want to share? All right, I will take that as a uh, a code of confidence. I will take that as my job is done. I've uh, I've answered all your questions. Uh, cool. Uh, well, cool guys. Uh, thank you guys so much for tuning in. We're gonna be back here uh, next Tuesday talking about a new platform called Zudilio. It's a cash offer platform. I'm gonna show you guys uh, how that works, and uh, we're gonna be. Uh, hoping to roll that out uh, here sh shortly here soon uh, again if you uh, want to get access to the new wide lopo ai inbox feature and follow up boss all you have to do is drop a message right here in the chat right now or message my assistant valeria uh, valeria can you drop your email and phone number into the chat real quickly and uh, that way they can contact you directly if they, they don't have your number already uh, but we'll get you uh, we'll get that feature turned on for you and created um, if you want to take advantage of that, that new feature, but, uh, all right, guys, uh, it's a wrap. Thank you, Hunter. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, my man. Thank you. Thank you.